As noted in a recent article in the Harvard Health Letter, up to three-quarters of men with cholesterol-narrowed coronary arteries have some degree of erectile dysfunction as well. There's drugs like Viagra, but they're a temporary and expensive solution that can cause hazardous side effects. Obviously, if your arterial system is that damaged, a more intensive effort that involves much more than popping a pill can yield longer-term improvements in both sexual function and cardiovascular health. Plant-based diets can not only reverse both conditions, but one plant in particular may be able to play a stopgap role in the meantime. The way drugs like Viagra work is by inhibiting an enzyme that inactivates something called CGMP, which would otherwise dilate penile blood vessels. So enzyme inhibition means more CGMP, which means more blood flow. But there's another way to boost CGMP levels, by going to the other side of the equation and stimulating the enzyme that makes it. That's what nitric oxide does. Nitric oxide is made from arginine. Arginine can be produced by citrulline, so I wonder what would happen if you ate more citrulline. Oral citrulline supplementation improves erection hardness in men with mild erectile dysfunction. And where is citrulline found? Watermelon. How much watermelon would you have to eat every day to match the dose they used in the study? Three and a half servings a day. Unless you eat yellow watermelon, which has about four times as much citrulline, so just you know, one serving a day, one wedge, one sixteenth of a modest melon, should uh, provide the dose they used, allowing for a 68% increase in monthly intercourse frequency, which your heart should be able to handle, given how much lower your blood pressure will be with watermelon supplementation. Watermelons got it all.